Hello everybody. In this video, we're talking about the rolling stand base. That's this lower portion of the stand for the creator frame fixture. You can buy it from us, but now you could also build it from a parts kit that we sell with some instructions. I wanna go over that in this video so you know what to expect. Let's get into it. Let's get you building this stand so you can be done building this stand so you can make some bikes. So uh, we have all of the assets online. So if you just wanna like print out part prints and get a bill of materials, you can do that and have none of it shipped to you. And then you can also configure a kit from our web store that includes, for instance, these laser cut plates. You're gonna be time and money ahead if you just buy these from us. We get a little bit of a volume discount by buying like 30 at once. If you wanna hack them out, you can download the drawings, but otherwise just buy those from us but we cannot economically ship the tubes and stuff and uh, to manage powder coat. And you're probably gonna be better off building some of this, especially if you're international or if you wanna customize it. So the parts are two of this lower leg. It's two inch mild steel square tube, 120 thousandths of an inch wall thickness. That's about a 50 millimeter square tube by a three millimeter wall. And according to the part print, it'll tell you where to place the five holes and it'll tell you the diameters of them. It's got square cuts on the end. You don't even need to weld anything. It's really simple. This is the upright tube, and this one has one laser cut plate welded to one end and one laser cut plate welded to the other end. Each one of these has like a, it's, a, it's 15 degrees off a of 90, so you can think of that as a 75 degree angle. Uh, you just cut that and you know, you can cut it with a hacksaw if you need to, but just get it cut. Make sure you file it square if you have to. Hopefully you have a really nice saw that cuts square tube real good, but if you don't, you're only making a couple cuts. So angle grinder, hacksaw, hand file, any of that works. I like to use a machinist square to set up uh, so that it is square on the plate and so that it's centered. So just do a little bit of layout, it's pretty basic. We TIG weld these, but MIG welding would work great. and. Uh, Fillet brazing would probably work if that's all you have. A lot of our customers do st steel bikes with bronze fillet brazing, so you could do that. And so, yeah, two of this one that's just drilled holes and one of this upright tube, and then you have the workings of the rolling stand base. These wheels, we get these from Service Caster Corporation. If you wanna buy these from us so that you only have to place the order in one place, you can do that, but we charge a markup. You can order them directly from Service Caster Corporation and save some money and save us the trouble. And we have the link to their web store on our web store uh, when you're buying this stuff. And then, so you can buy just the laser cut plates or you can buy the laser cut plates and the fasteners, like all the different screws and hardware, or you can even buy it with the wheels. And if you wanna buy everything, powder coated and finish welded and done, we have that also, but that costs the most, and it costs a lot of money to ship that, especially internationally. And so that's why we put together all the drawings and information so that you could do it yourself. Similarly, we have this plate available by itself. This is the top of the rolling stand base, and it's the bottom of the bench mount stand, which is this guy. And uh, if you wanna buy this by, by itself, you can. So of course our bench mount stand comes standard with the fixture and you could just weld this on top of a post or something and then you would have a fixed position for this in your shop and that might work fine. Uh, so this has been an option for a long time and it continues to be an option. But we're also selling the round tube that goes at the top of the bench mount stand and this plate and even the machine components that go in there that create the bench mount stand. And I did the whole video on this, but this really is pretty slick the way that it works. And so if you wanna build the bench mount stand yourself uh, for you know, whatever project you're doing because you love the performance of this, we also have those components in the web store and uh, the part prints that go along with those as well. Well, thanks for hanging out today. Hope that was helpful. Uh, Go, go build yourself a stand and then uh, set our fixture on it and build yourself some bikes. See you later.